Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see and try to understand how groups and layers work. Basically, the way we create the map is we have the base map or the map object and we keep on adding layers to it. So if I talk about this map, it has got several layers when it is rendered. It has got base map tiles, third party provider tiles, it has got markers, it has got circle markers and so on, right? It depends on uh, what kind of map we are making, um, what is the objective behind that map, right? Uh, grouping the layers gives us an advantage to uh, play with the map, to bring in interactivity in the map. We control which layer we want to see on the map. Say, uh, I want to see uh, only the circle markers, or I want to see markers. I want to see both markers and circle markers. I don't like this base map, map tile. I would like to see another base map tile. So uh, uh, it gives us uh, advantage to, it gives us so many options, uh, and we can play with our map, we can bring in interactivity uh, in the map. On the right hand side corner here, I have got something called layer control. This is this has got two parts. The top, the, the upper part is called as base group. It contains groups uh, which can be selected only one at a time. So we can either have toner light, uh, base map tile, or uh, toner uh, base map tile, or OSM tile. The bottom part has something called overlay groups, and these can be uh, checked. Uh, um, uh, you can st you can check more than one one or more than one option here. So you can have both markers and circle markers or say for example if i only want markers i can select markers or if i don't want anything i will select uh, I, I will uncheck both of them but that doesn't make sense because uh, that's not serving the purpose of our mapping so let's see how it works let's go back to our studio and see uh, how the interactivity uh, works in this case and how to group the layers and um, add the layer control to our map okay so i am in the r studio and we'll start with loading the library package so we'll say library leaflet start with creating the leaflet object say data equals quakes we'll work out with quakes data set we'll add the base map tile to it then we will add some provider tiles to it we'll add another provider tiles because we want uh, to give uh, user three options of tiles and I will fill in the details I'm just uh, putting the skeleton for now and then uh, remember there were uh, markers and circle markers right so I will add markers and then I will also add circle markers there okay let's stop here and fill in the details so we have add tiles so this is going to be a default osm tile on the um, provider tiles let's give this as stamen toner and here we will give it as stamen toner light and for add markers we'll say that longitude equals long lat equals lat 
these are coming in uh, from the um, you know structure of quakes so if we do structure on quakes you can see that we have got uh, one column variable as lat one column variable is long that's what i'm using here Add markers let long and similarly we can give the same thing here okay now let's talk about the grouping right so what we can say is we can name it that this this is uh, one of the layer this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one this is the fifth layer so we've got five layers on our map we can say that these this belongs to a group called OSM. I'll say that this belongs to a group, this layer belongs to a group called, say, stamen or just say toner. That's what we had in our example and this one say for example we say group equals toner light right and here we'll say that this belongs to a group called markers this one here belongs to a group calls called circle markers okay so so far what we have done is we have added uh, we we have a map object we added tiles or different layers so we've got five layers we group them we assign the group to each of them okay now what we need to do is we need to add something which is called add layer control right so we'll put a pipe operator here and we'll say add layer control what what this is this function is where we tell uh, what are our base groups and what are our overlay groups so we'll say base groups equals c what all things we want in our base group we want osm so let's copy and paste here we want OSM, we want toner, we want toner light as part of base group. Now for the overlay, for, for the overlay group, overlay groups, what do we want? We want markers and circle markers to be part of overlay group. So I'll say markers, comma, circle markers. Okay. So this is how we define the layer control. We tell what should be what groups are part of base group and what groups are part of overlay group and this is the minimal example uh, which will help us create what uh, we have seen earlier in the video right so let's run this so as you can see we have got this uh, layer control here and we have those options currently osm is the default and markers and circle marker markers both are checked uh, you can uncheck uh, whatever you don't want to see currently you see that we have got this icon uh, which expands when we mouse over we can uh, set this up if you if you don't want to mouse over rather you want the layer control to be uh, shown um, always on the map we can set the option there also we can define what we don't want to check or we don't want to be selected when the map renders so in this case if you remember when the map rendered we had markers and circle markers 
we can also set that up and uncheck circle markers when the map loads we can use an option here called options equals layers control option collapsed equals fall false so that way the control layer will always appear there you don't need to mouse over and get it the other thing we could do is add a pipe operator here and say hide group uh, remember that when the map was rendered we saw that both markers and circle markers were selected or checked i don't want uh, the circle markers to appear there i just want markers to be there when the map renders so i can say hide group circle markers and so let's see the difference now let's rerun the, the app now we can see that we don't need to mouse hover on that little icon and also when the map rendered we only have markers selected not both markers and circle markers.